What to do when someone's choking? Let's say you and a friend are out in restaurant and all of a sudden, they start choking. Now I am here with my friend Kevin to help me out how to give Heimlich maneuver. Then let's just give a scenario. We're out and having a good time. We're eating and all of a sudden, he seems like choking. First, you're going to ask him, are you okay? And oftentimes, the international sign for choking is like this. If you're around other people, you want to get them to help you. If you're in a restaurant, have someone call out for help and have the people help you out. First, uh, tell them what you're doing. Don't just attack them because that will just heighten their anxiety and their panic. So what are you going to do is, you're going to stand behind them and you're going to wrap your all arms all the way around. And you're gonna try to find their belly button with your pinky. Then make a fist. After to put the pinky on the belly button, then roll it up so the knuckle of your thumb is right there. And then you trust, you pull it in and up. But I'm not going to do it as hard. In and up. In and up. Until they can dislodge whatever it is in there. And they can break again. Don't go crazy like in the movies and starting slapping their back and wrestling because sometimes people get carried away and they want to slap your back and they just end up like uh, hurting you. If the person is pregnant or a larger person and you can get all your arms all the way around to where their belly button is, you want to go higher up to where their breastbone is. So let's say Kevin is pregnant, you wrap around, you find their breastbone and you do the same thing, in and up, in and up until they, they can dislodge whatever it is in there, in their throat and they can breathe again. If the person is so big and you are a small person and you have a big strapping person with you who's choking and you just can't even do that you can assist them by doing a self heimlich maneuver on a chair or a surface that will get their diaphragm you just lean them over and talk to them through it stay calm they're already in a state of anxiety because they can't breathe, which is normal. So if they lose consciousness and they fall to the floor, you're going to lay them down. You're going to roll them over. And then you're going to do the same thing. And you're going to find the belly button. Roll up. And you're going to trust while they're on the floor until that comes out or until helps arrive then just stay with them until help arrives